Hey brothers and sisters, this is Jordan. Today is Sunday, December the 17th, 2017, and I hope you guys are having a good day today. Guys, yesterday I was sitting at the kitchen table and I heard the Lord say, I have a message. And he said, I want you to go into prayer first. So I got up and I started walking down the hall toward the bedroom because this is usually where I pray. And as I got to the bedroom, I started to take my bedroom slippers off. And I heard him say, you can give this tomorrow. So I sought the Lord in prayer. And then he began speaking and giving me a message. And I'm going to give you that message. But before I do, I began thinking about those words. And the Lord reveals something to me in that message. Guys, when I posted and uploaded the last video, the Lord spoke about the fact that I had completely given up everything to follow him. And so naturally I had someone ask me about it and they said, Jordan, I'm just curious. What did, what is it that you gave up? Did you give up TV? Did you fast? And yes, I have almost cut out TV to where I watch almost none. And yes, I have fasted. But the biggest thing that I gave up was I gave up my will. I gave up my will to run my life and I began seeking the Lord for what his will for me was. He gave me a, mo a message several months ago and he said, Jordan, my will for you is for you to live righteously and to be kind and gentle to others. It's that simple. And so I began thinking about where I went wrong when I was young. There was a time in my early 20s where I was on fire for the Lord. I went to church. I read his holy word. In reading his holy word, I, I read where the Bible says that homosexuality is an abomination. And I knew that I was gay. And so when they would give the altar calls, I would go down to the altar. I had already given my life to the Lord. And I would ask people to pray for me. And I would ask people to lay hands on me. And I would beg the Lord, Lord, please take this desire away from me. I don't want to be gay. Take this desire away from me. And after I did that several times, and he did not take that desire away. And I understand that he's done it for many. But for me, that was not his will. I gave up and I thought, well, maybe this is how I'm supposed to be because it was my understanding and it was my thought that this is how it should be. If you don't want me to be gay, then you take it away. And this was my fatal error. This is where I went wrong. This is how I lived a life of sin and disobedience. This is how I missed out on the miracles. What he has shown me all these years later is that what he wanted was for me to choose to be obedient to his holy word. And what he wanted was for me to seek him for what his will was for me. And when I was thinking about this this morning, the Lord said, you hit the nail on the head. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the message. One other thing, guys. If there is anyone out there and you feel like you've hit a brick wall, you've been seeking the Lord, but you've hit a brick wall. I want you to, to think about and ask yourself this question. Have you laid down your will? To seek the Lord for what his will is. Because like I said, this is where all the miracles in my life have taken place. This is where the Lord has revealed himself to me. This is the secret. For me, this was the secret to finding God. So let me go ahead and read the message. Write these words that I say unto thee, son. I am the Alpha and the Omega, 
the first and the last, the beginning and the end. There is no other God before my holy throne. My children, the time of your redemption is upon you. Many of you have been washed white as snow before me. It is I working in you that has done this. It is you I am coming for. The ones that have yet to surrender to my will will keep going. You will have to fight another day. My love for all of you is much more than any of you can even comprehend. It has always been my wish that all would come to me in full repentance. But what must be, will be. I am a just God. I am a holy God. And there is none like me. Many of you will come to know my truth. Many of you will see the error of your ways. And salvation and redemption awaits you. There is life after this. Life eternal. Choose to live it with me in my kingdom. My kingdom awaits. Yahshua. So guys, a very powerful and a very beautiful message. In closing, I want to say that those of us that have sought the Lord understand and realize that he's coming for us any moment. We don't know exactly how, and we don't know exactly when. And it's not his will that we know exactly when. But we trust him, and we wait for him. Guys, I hope that sharing my struggles, and my pain, and my mistakes have helped you, and, and do, and will help you with your walk with the Lord. And I want to close today with Matthew 5, 16. And this is Jesus speaking, our Lord and Savior. Let your light shine so before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Guys, God bless you. Have a great day.